Hey guys, Kathy here, and today I'm doing just a little small batch of soap. Uh, in my one pound mold, I thought I'd make something pretty for my mom for the holidays. And she always likes to get soap from me. So I'm going to use this little mold. Uh, I believe, I can't really remember where I bought this. I probably bought this off of Amazon. Uh, not entirely sure though. I'm fragrancing this in a floral today and only because I had some white gardenia that I want to use up. So I'm hoping it doesn't seize up on me. I have an issue with gardenia, but I keep trying to use it. So <laughs> I never learn. I never learn. Me and gardenia don't get along. But anyway, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to wait till right before I pour one color before I add it in. I'm going to stir it in by hand. And uh, so we'll see if that works any better. Uh, I'm going to do three colors. I'm mostly white with a little bit of, um, oh gosh, this is jazzberry pink, I believe. And then I have aqua pearl here. I've just mixed these in with a little bit of my soaping oils. I'm going to divide it up um, once I get it till very light trace. I'll divide it into three containers and then we'll get started pouring the colors in and mixing in and then quickly hopefully pouring into here. I hope it turns out really good. I'm doubtful but if it doesn't turn out then I get to use it <laughs> and I'll try something else for mom. So anyway we'll get started here. Um, I always keep my uh, lye water in this little silicone uh, cake mold here just to make sure none of the heat transfers onto my table because they do get really hot. Uh, but anyway, so stir that a little by hand and we'll just put that in there. Move my mixer over. Got, I'm using my little small bowl. I'm hoping it doesn't spit at me. I'll try and burp that. Because it's a very small batch, it won't take too much mixing here. I think that's good to divide it. So we'll put little bit in that one. And a little bit here. A little bit more there, I should say. And the rest will leave white, actually. So I guess I don't really need that last picture. I'll just leave it in here and blend the white. So there. Let me get this picture out of the way. Um, set that there. Let's make sure you can see things here. So we'll pour my titanium dioxide in that one for the white. Uh, let me actually scrape that just to get it all out of there. Or as much as possible. I've been really busy... Uh, if you don't follow me on Facebook or Instagram, I'm doing uh, some ornaments uh, lately. And uh, I'll put that one in there. So I started a new Etsy store. Um, I just, just a few in there so far. Called Ornamentational. Uh, kind of a blend of sensational and ornaments. So check it out if you want. Um, I'm doing, I have a dragonfly, a sunflower, and kind of a lilac pattern ornaments so far. I'm decoupaging them. And then uh, some of them I'm starting to uh, add a gift box uh, that matches. So you'll get an ornament inside of a gift box. So I think I have one of those listed on Etsy. 
So, you know, this is really pretty mixed. And I don't want to over mix. So I'm just going to blend this by hand. Like I said, I have an issue when it comes to gardenia that always, always seizes up on me. Never fails. So I figure I'll leave this pretty fluid. And this is a dark fragrance oil, so it may not stay overly white. Okay, so pour that in and stir. I'm hoping I don't get any rising or anything. I'm still being fairly cool. So, I don't know. We'll see. Be nice if it stayed fluid here. I think I'm going to pour this white and pour that there. Scrape that. And then we'll mix our our um, aqua pearl and a little bit of fragrance oil in there as well so anyway like i said i'm having fun doing the decoupage so i figure it'll just give me another creative outlook see that's already starting to thicken Ooh. That one really thickened up fast. So you know what? I'm just going to give it a little swirl in there with the white. And we'll get to our pinky color here with just a few drops left of that. I'm going to scrape the rest of this white in here as well. I just got a little bit. So, there. Like so. And hopefully, well, that's going to go right on top. Boy, I don't know if I can even mix that in. That darn fragrance oil, let me tell you. I'm going to get one of my little sticks here and just see if I can mix. Oh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Not much. Anyway, it's the teal, or that uh, aqua pearl that really thickened. So, we'll see how this goes. It does smell beautiful, but it looks like a hot mess. But anyway, we'll see how this turns out. garbage. Another towel. I kind of wanted to, I think I might have, nope. I kind of wanted to get a little texture going, but I don't know. Let's see, you get the aqua Really setting up in there. It's interesting. I keep I will keep practicing with this gardenia until it's gone. <laughs> then I won't have to worry about it anymore. But anyway. 
that's me sharing all my successes and failures with, with you guys. Because no soaper is perfect. I don't care who you are. I don't care how many hundreds of thousands of subscribers you have on YouTube. Because those ones virtually never, ever show their soap fails. Virtually, virtually never. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and put the last dab in there. And let's see. Let's see if glitter can't fix this a little bit, shall we? I know some of you guys will be like, yay, she put glitter on. So there we go. A little bit of glitter. And uh, then we'll see how this monstrosity of a gardenia soap turns out. But for now, it's, uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. So, bleh. That's all I got to say about that one. Bleh. Bleh. Ick. Yuck. So I'm gathering up all my dishes. I'm gonna go let them sit for a day and wash those up. Um, check out check out our uh, Facebook page, and uh, if you head over to Ornamentational on Facebook or Etsy, you'll see the little ornaments I'm doing. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, and we can also do custom ornaments if you uh, have like. People get custom napkins and such made for their events, like weddings. Um, if you want something like that with, you know, your, your names. Do you have your names and when you got married? Blah, blah, blah. And a napkin. I can uh, transfer that over to an ornament for you as well. Or baby shower napkins. If you have customized ones of those. I mean, it's uh, fun what you can do with this stuff. So, anyway... Check it out. Check us out. And follow me on Instagram at Dirty Booty Soaps because I always put all my pictures there no matter what they are. Whether they're soaps or ornaments or my dogs or what we're doing around the house. Uh, you can check out all my photos over there on Instagram. So look up at Dirty Booty Soaps. And uh, we'll be back to cut this and... Uh, See what it turns out to be and whether or not mom will get this for Christmas. I'm sure she'd be perfectly happy with something else. <laughs> but anyway, we'll come back and we'll cut it and we'll see how it looks. By the way, she has no sense of smell really, so I don't even know why I put fragrance oil in this other than the fact I just need to use it up. So, but anyway, uh, we'll be back, we'll cut it up and uh, we'll see what that bad boy turns into when we come back. Okay, we're back. And before I get this started cutting, I do want to show you, um, because I talked about my ornamentational page uh, at the beginning of the video, and I just want to show you what's in the works. Um, this is one of the, the boxes that I'm doing. And this box in particular will have a set of four matching ornaments in it. But isn't it pretty? Just look at the cute little chickadee there. So that's one of my ornamentational boxes. And I'm, like I said, working on the ornaments there. This is the other one I completed. Uh, beautiful sunflower. It's painted gold. A little bit of glitter on there. And then inside... I've got some of the reindeer moss, and you're going to get a beautiful sunflower ornament inside. So, check out our uh, ornamentational page over on Etsy and Facebook as well. I'll link you below in the in the video. But uh, it's just uh, just a, another something fun that I'm doing to occupy my time. I really like this one for the holidays though. But I'll be doing other ones as well. Um, we'll get some 
baby ornaments and boxes together. I've got other Christmas ones and pretty other floral ones for Mother's Day in the works. And uh, so anyway, check out that page. Some really cool stuff coming along there. So we're going to take this out and get it cut. This uh, hot mess of a gardenia soap. Just uh, I already broke the seal. Just waiting for it to drop out here. I don't like to force it too much. So there's the good side. <laughs> there we go. Almost looks Christmassy with the the pink and the green there. So we'll get it in here and get it cut. Oh, maybe not. Let me do it. Um, it's too wide for that. I'm surprised. You know, we should turn it on its side because we'll fit in there for sure. So we'll cut this into some nice bars. And see what kind of a mess we have on the inside. <laughs> yeah, not the pretty swirl that I wanted, that's for sure. Anyway, there's one. Wipe my wire off. If I were to try this one again, I think I'd leave out the aqua pearl color. So that's the one that thickened on me for some strange reason. Anyway, it's interesting. It's interesting. Still not sure if I'm going to send that to my mom or not. But we'll see. I don't send it to her, then I'll use it. Anyway, and there we go. And there we go. So that's my soap fail <laughs> for today. Uh, wow. Anyway, we'll get on to making something else in, in the next few days here and get something pretty whipped up. But uh, it's all right. It's not terrible, but I've seen better. So thanks for tuning in to this uh, hot mess gardenia soap. And uh, <laughs> sorry, I always make such a mess when I flip the camera over. Anyway, it's it's unique. That's for sure. Very unique hot mess. Although I do kind of like how this one looks like it kind of spirals. You know, this one too. Like, whoop. I planned that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Sure I did. I planned that. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe up at the top and hit the little bell to be notified when new videos pop out. I promise they won't be such a mess as this one. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.